All right, hey YouTube people. Today I am putting some upgraded X-Tech brakes onto my Xiaomi M365 Pro scooter. And in order to do that, I have this 3D printed piece which I've done in uh, PETG uh, at 100% fill just to be as strong as possible because this is a brake component and this is kind of the revised uh, Thingiverse print and it actually does not flex like some of the older versions. They've added this backside which adds a little bit of integrity to the piece. So <clears throat> I will be putting this in place of here and I got the rear brake for the X-Tech. Most people choose the red version of this, of the HB100, but I actually decided I wanted the black one uh, just to keep things, I don't know, I just wanted it that color. So uh, I got the rear brake that has this uh, kind of flat area, but I don't think it actually matters if you get front or rear because we're just gonna uh, undo that and take this piece off anyways, as far as I can tell. So uh, first things first, I'm just going to remove the existing brake. So I have tested the, the rear brake down a very, very steep hill, I'll show footage of that and I turned the scooter off and tried to go down the hill just using the rear brake and what happened was it, it massively overheated it started uh, it it overheated enough that I started stopped losing braking power and it was actually very dangerous and I could see that the pad on here was melting black onto this rim and it was it was a bad time uh, I luckily I didn't have far to go and it evened out, um, but that that's a good testament to why you should upgrade the brakes. Now, that said, I'm gonna do the same test once I have these brakes on to see if it actually makes a difference. Uh, the good thing about these brakes is it, it puts friction on not only the front, but also the rear. So hopefully that makes things better. So we've got that, that brake off now. And hopefully this comes off without crimping. No, of course not. That off. And that got the old brake out. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all these parts together in case I ever need to put them back on. And now I just need to figure out how to put this new brake on. So the first thing is I'm gonna take off so yeah, I'm gonna take off this bottom bracket. There we go. And now, <clears throat> just need to make sure that I fit this correctly. And I have to see exactly how it needs to go. I believe it's gonna go like this. Okay, so you're gonna wanna find the right hardware for this. You're gonna need a five millimeter or a, or a M5 by eight millimeter screw, and you want it to not have a head that's very tall because it needs to fit in this slot right here without obstructing the brake. So that needs to be fairly shallow. Then you're gonna need an M25, uh, M5 by 25 millimeter and an M5 by 20 for this side and also an M5 nut to put in the bottom of this bracket. So I'm gonna place that up there. And I'm gonna use a little bit of Loctite on these screws. It's just Loctite blue, uh, just to make sure that it goes in without issue. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to make sure that's nice and centered. And snug down. And now I can take this break and I've just gently released this spacer. Uh, so you can see you've got the two brake pads on there and I'm just going to put it over the rotor and you can see how nicely that seems to line up right there and uh, I'm going to put this screw in to start holding it down Not going to tighten it all the way down yet, just so I can get both sides in and make sure that the wheel is spinning. Now there is the problem that the rotor sits slightly too low. I have a replacement rotor on the way one that's a little bit longer. Uh, this is the 120 millimeter on the Pro, the M365 Pro. If you have a normal M365, you'll have to at least get this one, uh, the 120 millimeter, but I've got a 140 millimeter on the way that should go all the way up into the top of this. Um, I just It's just coming from China, it's gonna take a long time. So I wanted to upgrade the brakes before I got too far on this. So I'll probably do another video with a 140 millimeter spacer. Uh, but for now, there is probably about five or six millimeters that it is pinching on this rotor right here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. and just get a good test fit. And then I'll, I'll apply some Loctite later if, if this is all working okay. Um, so the next step is I'm just gonna feed this wire. Try not to bend it too much. Gonna feed it through here. There we go. And you know, I need a little bit more line here, so I may have to see if I can pull some of that out. Oh, actually, here we go. I just need to do this, I need to loosen this. And that's gonna get this piece set inside there. Much better. And now, need to attach the line through here. So I'm going to loosen this up, pull that through and then tightening it down. That fairly tight. And now I'm just going to test the brake a little bit. Looks like that needs to be much tighter. So, uh, I'm going to loosen that up and pull it through again. Okay, so one thing I found was that there's a problem here when you hook this up like this. So when you pull the, the brake lever, it, it tightens enough so that the wheel doesn't spin. But when it goes loose, it's still rubbing. And um, if you just push this back a tiny bit, the wheel now free, free spins. So um, when you use these on a mountain bike, you usually have some sort of spacer or it's just aligned slightly differently. Um, so in order to make this actually work, I realized that I was gonna need a way to push this back. And if you even look, let me, let me grab the original brake. With the original brake, you can see uh, how much, see if I turn that, there's a 
there's a compression and a quite a bit of force that pushes the brake back, which gives you that good feedback on your lever. This feels flat until suddenly it grabs. So uh, in order to get some of that compression back, I'm gonna fit this spring over this wire and that should give us a little more feedback. So I've got two different springs here. Uh, this one's a little softer. I'm gonna start with a hard one, I think, because I, I think it needs that much force to push that back. And we'll see if that makes things a lot better. Okay, so I found a much heavier duty spring and it uh, seems to be working quite well. So if I go ahead and spin this wheel, it's spinning, I pull the brake, it's super tight, and when I let go, it spins freely again. So definitely recommend a nice thick spring on here in order to uh, make sure that the hydraulics uh, pull backwards and the wheel can spin freely so you're not losing efficiency coasting with your brakes catching. So as you guys can see, this is not an insignificant hill. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a pass down it with these new brakes. So this is a really bad idea, but I am breaking down this enormous hill with the uh, with the new brake. And if I wanted to stop right now, done. So it's a definite improvement. So, anyways. Um, that's my X-Tech mod on the Xiaomi M365 Pro. Thanks for watching.